Hi. Now, in this question on parabolas, we're given this curve C, this parabola C, with equation y squared equals 36x. And we're told that the focus of this parabola is at S. And in the first part of the question, we've got to find the coordinates of that focus S. Well, any parabola like this has the form y squared equals 4ax. We should already know this. And the coordinates of the focus, in this case, is always a comma zero. So in order to find the coordinates of the focus, we've got to find out the value of a. And so we can compare these two equations. We can see that 4ax must be equal to 36x. Now if we divide both sides by 4x, that leaves us with a equaling 36 divided by 4, which is 9. So it follows then that the coordinates of s, which are normally a0, well a is now 9, so it's going to be 9, 0. Now in part b, we've got to write down the equation of the directrix c. Now the directrix is this line down here, this dotted line. And again, we should be familiar with the fact that this directrix, I should say, this dotted line here, has an equation x equals minus a. Now we've already found out what a is. It was 9, so therefore we can write down the equation of the directrix. It's going to be x equals minus a, or in this case, minus 9. Now for this next part, we're told that in this figure, it shows the point P that lies on the curve C, where its y-coordinate is greater than 0. And we've also got this point Q, which lies on the directrix. Now, the line segment QP is parallel to the x-axis. And we've got to write down the distance of QP, given that the distance of P to S is 25 units. Let's just mark that in, that P to S is 25 units. And we'll also mark in this line segment QP, which is parallel to the x-axis. Now, again, you should be familiar with the fact that the locus of a point P that is such that its distance from a fixed point S to a fixed line is always the same gives a parabola. So if we mark in that those two lengths are meant to be the same, not that it looks like it in my sketch here, but we're told that PS is 25 units. So no wonder we should be able to write down the distance of QP, that too is going to be 25 units. So QP equals 25. Now in part D, we've got to find the coordinates of the point P. Now, already we know that the distance Q is away from the y-axis is 9 units because the equation of the directrix is x equals minus 9. So we know that this distance here is 9 units to the y-axis. But if the total distance QP is 25 units, then that leaves us with 16 units from the y-axis to P. So that tells us that at P, the x-coordinate must be equal to 16. So. We only need the y-coordinate now, and we can get that by substituting x equals 16 in our equation up here. So therefore, y squared must be equal to 36 times 16. So now we can square root both of these values here and get that y must equal the square root of 36, which is 6, and the square root of 16, which is 4. And so that means that therefore y equals 6 fourths, which are 24. So it follows then that the coordinates of p must be 16 for x and 24 for y. Now in part e, we've got to find the area of the trapezium OSPQ. Now the area of a trapezium is equal to 
the sum of the parallel sides, we'll just put this down though as uh, an intro, the area of OSPQ. It's a trapezium, so it's the sum of the parallel sides, that is QP plus OS, divided by 2 times the distance between the parallel sides. So the sum of the parallel sides, well, QP is 25 units, and then we've got to add that to the distance OS. Well, OS, well, we know that A has coordinates, uh, well, A is 9, so that's going to mean that OS is 9 units, so we've got to add 9. So that's the sum of the parallel sides. Times the distance apart, well, the distance apart is from O to the line QP. It's the Y coordinate then of P, which is 24. So you times that by 24, and you divide all of this by 2. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart. Work that out, and you've got 408 units squared. I like to write units squared because we're finding an area, but if you left that off, you're not going to lose marks. Okay, well, I hope that's given you an idea then how you go about this question.